in our morning rounds. New hope in the fight against Alzheimer's. More than 5 million Americans live with this devastating illness. Research coming out this morning from the Alzheimer's Association Conference in Washington looks at an experimental drug. The treatment may, for the first time, attack the underlying cause and slow its progress. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Nora. So tell us about this new drug. So it's a new drug. It's got a name that rolls off your tongue, solenuzumab. <laughs> and what it does, it's an antibody, a protein that binds amyloid, which is the protein that accumulates in the brain in Alzheimer's. And by binding it in the blood, it can slower the progression of the disease. It's not dramatic, but in the course of the study over two years, there was a slight decline in how the patients lost memory function. So it's really the first drug to hit the underlying cause of the disease rather than symptoms of disease. So there's excitement and there's hope, two words you never hear with Alzheimer's. Has this drug been used in any other way? Yeah, so this drug was used in two previous trials in all Alzheimer's patients, and it only worked in patients with mild disease. So the trial was extended in those patients, and that's where we saw the benefit. It's an intravenous infusion given every four weeks. What are the side effects, David? Well, there aren't a lot of side effects. There may be some cardiac side effects, but it's remarkably well tolerated. Obviously, a pain to have to go in for an IV every four weeks. But for this disease, certainly exciting that there may be a glimmer of hope. But it also validates the amyloid hypothesis. There was an experiment done in mice earlier this year where they took ultrasound and they changed the brain and actually reduced the amyloid in the brain. While that was only in mice, there's certainly hope that these things can be tried in patients very soon because we need it in this disease. How soon? Okay. You know, the trials in patients are ongoing. Um, this trial with this drug is in a second phase three trial, so we'll know the answer in 2016 next year. So there's a lot happening now, but obviously a year is too late for many people because there are millions suffering from this disease. David, I'm reading this, this story in the paper today that women's dementia wor worsens faster than men's. Why is that and what does it tell us about the need to study men and women with dementia differently? Yeah, it's certainly a very interesting study, is, is that women who have, uh, uh, you know, pre-Alzheimer's, so losing some memory function, they decline twice as fast to Alzheimer's than men. And so it implies men and women have different brains, which obviously we know. Um, estrogen may have an effect protecting initially from Alzheimer's, but as we go through menopause, it drops precipitously, and that may be a uh, cause of it. But we need to study men and women differently. And the more we learn, the better we can attack these horrible diseases. All right, and women are living longer too. Thank you, Dr. David Agus. Good to see you.